YouTube welcome back to the Lyser workshop <laughs> um, just a little shop update and uh, yes we got a score video today um, took off yesterday at about five o'clock didn't get home till about 10.30 that night, 10 o'clock, somewhere around there, and uh, made a trip yesterday, 100 miles up, 100 miles back, so I made a 200 mile round trip for this score, and I'll tell you a little story about this trip, it was a little hair raising. Everything I don't like about driving uh, was an issue. Uh, like I said, it was it was about a hundred miles up, hundred miles back, and I left here. The roads was dry, and uh, I get about halfway there starts drizzling, a little cold, and the whole time I'm praying that it don't freeze because I'm driving a vehicle I've never driven before. Uh, the neighbor let me borrow her van uh, simply because my truck is down, and that's another thing. I got the parts in for it, and wouldn't you know, they're not the same. Uh, they're the same ones that I had to send back to the other person who took six or took twenty six dollars of my money uh, for a restock fee. Uh, this new part said that, or he said that uh, he wouldn't charge me that. The only reason they would charge that is if it came back bad or something like that. Uh, so I'm returning it for a refund, and I'm gonna have to go somewhere else and try to find it again. So we're back to square one on the truck. Uh, that clutch pack, I swear to God, is the, the worst thing I ever had to try to get for anything. Uh, it, it's starting to uh, make me wonder if I'm going to have a truck. Uh, I don't want to have to put both new rear ends underneath that thing just to find a matching set that actually goes to the truck. But anyway, um, so I get up the road and I had nighttime. I hate driving at night. I hate driving in the rain. And uh, I hate driving in the fog. I had all three of those <laughs> that came into play. So I get down the road and uh, get about, I don't know, 13 miles from the guy's house. And it started turning into small roads hairpin turns. I mean, these turns were so sharp that I could actually reach out and touch the back of the van. Nah, I'm just kidding. But it was pretty sharp. And uh, it was kind of scary. Uh, so then I get on this other road and it starts turning into narrow roads, dirt roads, washboard roads, and back out in the stick somewhere where I actually believe they pipe in the sunshine where he lives. And uh, I'm like, man, I hope I don't get out here and he rob me and kill me because they'd never find me. But uh, I get there and get them loaded and I make it back home. So. The trip was really good, uh, good to me. Uh, it wasn't too awful bad. So, uh, without me rambling on anymore, let's go out and see what I got. Are we ready? Here we go. Here it is. We have an old 
Atlas, Barclays. Uh, they're pretty old. And um, this one here turns the drums. And that one back there turns rotors. And I don't know how good a shape these are in. Uh, we basically knew that these were going to be uh, fixer-uppers. Uh, I was able to get help with purchasing these. Um, and I'm not going to put that guy's business out there. And I'm not going to put a, a price on it because, to be quite frankly, that's my business. Um, it wasn't very much um, and it is an atlas I don't uh, I was told that it's not a atlas like the atlas lathe um, atlas craftsman but nonetheless it says atlas right on it uh, a t l a s so um, it says Atlas Supply Company. Now, um, I'm going to clean these up, make them real nice, but I'm starting to see that maybe, no, that's not missing. I thought there was a hand wheel there, but there's not. Um, I'm hoping these work. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. I'm going to clean these up, repaint them, clean up all the wheels and the good part about this is these will actually take a 3 8 uh, high speed steel bit if you're looking at this I don't know if you can see that or not yeah uh, you can actually put a 3 8 high speed bit in there which I have a bunch so and I also have these inserts that I bought by accident for my Grizzly so I actually have a new set of these which I'll probably put on the um, the uh, rotor machine back there and then use a high speed bit for this until I can get some more of these inserts um, so far, I don't see anything broken. Um, they're, they've been sitting around a while. Uh, the story behind these, from what I understand, is they were uh, in a garage of the house that this guy bought. Um, he bought the house and they were in the garage, so I guess they came with the house. Um, they were definitely out in the boonies and I got all the attachments or at least a lot of attachments we don't know if uh, they're all there but there's all the attachments that came with it and uh, let me jump up in here then I got the cabinet and we have the sign it says Atlas Brake Service. Uh, while we're up in here, we'll look at the rotor machine, and it's the heaviest one. Um, I don't like this. That has to be changed. We we'll have to put an actual set screw in there, like it's supposed to be. And. Uh, It's locked up, so that needs to be straightened up. And uh, it actually has a tailstock on it. <laughs> so, yeah, these are. This is locked up on the shaft. Um, so, right now, 
Okay, we got a spring here that needs to be replaced. Uh, right now, we have to take our poor dog to the vet. Uh, I'm sure she's not going to like that. Um, for some reason, she's got some knots. Let me shut this. And go in the shop where it's a little more warm. A little cold out here. Let's see what it is out here. It is. Looks to me like about 42 degrees. So we'll go in here where it's cold or warm. Alright. Set you guys up here. Grab my coffee. With my we the deplorables have spoken. <laughs> coffee mug um yeah we got to take her to the vet um she's got these great old big long they look like they're blood pockets or something and one of them's about that long hanging from the bottom underneath her and she's got a whole bunch of other knots that have come up on her underneath her belly and uh one of them actually looks like a penis so I don't know what's going on with her, so I have a feeling that we're going to have get some bad news today. Uh, God, I hope not. Uh, she hasn't been right. Uh, she's been feeling bad, and she's not eating right, so I'm hoping it's not cancer. Uh, I was speaking to uh, Crafted about it, and that was one of the consensus he had. So... I hope him and I both are wrong, but we're going to find out, and as soon as we get back, I'm going to go ahead and clear some of this stuff off the bench and get the, uh, get the lathes in here and uh, see if we can't start working on uh, evaluating what we have and um, see what we have to make I'm sure there's gonna be something on there that we're gonna to have to make um, actually I, I can go ahead and tell you how much I paid for them I paid three hundred dollars for them I didn't have the money for it um, I had some help and to that person thank you very much I couldn't have done it without you but we'll go ahead and get them in here and get them set up and disconnect the uh, the uh, drive link so that we can try out the motors and see if they work uh, and hope for the best so we'll uh, find us a place in here and put them in, in the warm and start working on them I'm going to try to get them to work in here they're not all that big so I was thinking about putting them in the outside building, but I actually believe that I have enough room in this shop to accommodate those uh, uh, lathes. Um, I'm thinking about taking out the original closet and that was in the bedroom of the uh, camper before it was a shop I'm thinking about taking that closet out and extending that bench and put my grinders over on that bench and then take the uh, two lathes and put them on the grinder bench that I just built uh, we hope that's going to be enough room uh, if not we'll make it work uh, I'd just soon them be in here with me so that I ain't got to go out and in the building and I can keep everything contained to the shop um, that way it's not getting cold all the time it's not getting hot all the time it's it pretty much stays within my room temperature so um, it's a big project 
and the main reason I got them was so that I could try to turn rotors and drums for people and bring some kind of money in here because apparently my tip jar that's over here on the side uh, which speaking of if you feel like you want to help out the bison workshop feel free uh, your donations are greatly welcomed if not no hard feelings uh, if so I really appreciate it so I guess this ends the introductory to the uh, Atlas Supply Company uh, rotor and drum brake lathe and um, we'll see if we can't start us a new series on the uh, brake lathes. We'll probably do a uh, two different videos I guess. Uh, we can either do it one after the other, you know, restore one, and then once it's done, restore the second one. Or we can just restore them all, both of them at the same time, and make it one video with several parts. Uh, I haven't decided yet how the best way to do it, uh, but hopefully it's entertaining to you guys, and hopefully you guys learn something, because I'm sure going to learn something myself, I'm sure. Um, I've worked with brake lathes before, but these these here are pretty old. Um, we got to do some research, see how how old they are, and um, see if we can't get some documentation on them. Uh, get some serial numbers wrote down and model numbers, and start printing out owners' manuals. Hopefully. Once we get manuals and uh, information, it's all she wrote. So, you guys have a good one. Later. Well, guys. Uh... I had to add to this video. Uh, the uh, brake lathe was a blessing, but we just got back from the vet, and that blessing turned into something that can't even be recognized. Uh, it seems like Every time one good thing happens, more bad comes behind it and, and pretty much renders the blessing a void. Uh, we just found out, we just now got back from the vet, and our dog was going to die. And there ain't a damn thing we can do about it. If we don't have the surgery done, she's got cancer. And if we don't have the surgery done, she's going to die. Uh, they said she can be saved, but that that's only, in my mind, that's only for somebody who's got money. So, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm at the point where I'm ready to lose it. I got too much going on right now. Yeah. I, mm, mm, mm. So. I don't. I don't know what to say. I'm at all right now. Seems like I just can't catch a break for nothing. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this up. And, uh, if anybody feels like helping out with our, our dog, 
please do. Because if it's left up to us, there ain't nothing I can do about it. There ain't nothing that she can do about it. My girlfriend. And and I have a feeling that this is going to be worse on her than it is for me. We saved her. And this is ironic. We saved Nina from a bad situation. Only to not be able to afford to keep her safe. So I don't I don't see where we've done her any favors. So uh I'll, I'll never own another animal again, ever. What, once, if she dies, when she dies, I'll never own another animal, ever. So, you guys have a good one, man. Later.